Hi, welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Mike McAvoy, and in today's episode, I want to talk about mechanically assisting ventilations in a spontaneously breathing patient using a bag valve mask. The first thing that's an issue is deciding when you actually need to assist ventilations. One of the tools in the new EMS educational standards at all levels of practice is a pulse oximeter. And because of the fact that we no longer administer oxygen to patients who are saturating at levels above 94%, a pulse oximeter gives us an early warning that a patient is deteriorating. So we'll place a pulse oximeter on the patient's finger and we'll pay attention to the saturation continuously during care to observe for a drop below 94%. If it drops below 94%, we either have a pro problem with oxygenation or perhaps a problem with ventilation. If we decide that a patient's work of breathing is insufficient to sustain them, we'll begin ventilating with a bag valve mask. Now, one of the changes in the American Heart Association Guidelines 2010 has to do with the use of an airway in a patient. And in a patient who's spontaneously breathing, there is not a great value in using an oral or a nasal airway unless you're having difficulty ventilating the patient. So to ventilate a patient who's spontaneously breathing, we're going to take a bag valve mask connected to an oxygen source. And initially, if you don't have an oxygen source readily available, it's fine to begin ventilation with room air. And we're going to place the mask in the cleft of the patient's chin, lay the rest of the mask over the top of their face, and for someone who's spontaneously breathing, there's a challenge in doing this in that you need to coordinate your ventilations with the patient's respirations. So in this patient, we can actually see some denting of the bag as the patient breathes in and out. And our next goal is to try to track the respirations of the patient so that we're breathing for him. Now, monitoring this can be somewhat tricky. We talked in another episode about using capnography. And the capnography can be used through a nasal device that actually sits over the patient's face and measures the exhaled carbon dioxide. Or at the basic life support level, there's now a portable capnography device that can be attached between the bag valve mask and the patient to give you an exhaled carbon dioxide value. It has an adapter that snaps into the device, turns on with a very small power switch, then connects directly to the bag valve mask and allows you to see a respiratory rate and an exhaled carbon dioxide level from the patient. So if we connect this and we place the mask on the patient and the patient's breathing spontaneously as he was, we'll actually see a carbon dioxide level and a respiratory rate on the screen, as well as a miniature waveform on the bottom that allows us to actually watch the breaths that the patient's taking in and out. Now, if we were going to assist the patient with ventilations, we're going to squeeze the bag to place air into the patient, and we could watch the patient's chest. In fact, that's the best feedback mechanism is to actually watch the patient's chest. When the patient goes to take a breath, you squeeze some extra air in to enhance the breath that the patient's taking. And if a patient was completely apneic, you could ventilate them at the rate that you see fit for that patient in order to maintain an exhaled carbon dioxide of somewhere between 35 and 45 millimeters. Using a device like this allows you to not only see the rate at which the patient's breathing, but also to time your ventilation and choose a rate that gives you sufficient respiratory effort in the patient measured by exhaled carbon dioxide. Keeping that exhaled carbon dioxide between 35 and 45 will allow you to pick the ideal rate for the patient. If the patient's breathing spontaneously, holding the bag valve mask over their face allows them to draw 100% oxygen from the bag, and you may need to adjust the flow of the oxygen so that the bag delivers 100% oxygen to the patient without totally collapsing with each breath. I'm Mike McAvoy. Thanks for watching.